What's up, boys? Today's April 4th, 2024. Market pumped up like crazy this morning. Took all these daily highs. News came out as bullish. I'm pretty sure. Let me just double check. Yeah, so bearish for USD. So it means bullish for indices. Okay. So my bias is that we took a two daily highs. So I want to see a bearish bias. So what I want to see is internal manipulation. And then I get a 15-minute bearish close. So right now, we had one 15-minute close on, what's it called? NQ. About to manipulate these highs. Um, let's see if you can manipulate then come back to the downside or something like that. Something like that, guys. That's when we see Cook. I think Connor agrees. Right, good luck. Okay, and you keep pumping. Might be chasing these weekly highs of here. Crazy. Crazy stuff. Right. I just want to see it. I just want to find the area where price is going to react off of. It's a two hour right here. I tapped inside it. Jar body. Okay. So keep over here, and this this area that I got inverse. So if we come back down, this would be a good support area. So if you come down, have a bullish bias, right? Um, like if you're gonna enter short, we can possibly just target this daily body inverse, and that's like two hundred ticks, which is light. Light low trade. So guys, what do I want to see? 15 minute manipulation. Which I don't think we have yet. I want to see like during the market. Um, then we should be... Then we should cook. Low key. I think so. Yeah, so I want to have, I want to have a fake setup. A fake 15 minute setup. And then manipulate it. Let's get some tunes on. Uh, what Connor is what kind of stock looking at? What stock is kind of looking at right now? Wait, what is ST what? ST, I'm on that. Yeah, it's just pumping right now. Up three percent. The stock's up three percent. Let's go. All right, it's about to take out some high up here. So Connor's target's probably this high, right? This uh, March thirteenth high. What the fuck? That's tough. There we go. Connor is Yeah. That's gonna be like my next TP. It's a couple dollars away though, so it's like another couple hundred percent if it comes pumps up. And then if it takes to the high with big displacement, then swing that shit and then hold it to all time highs. So just yeah. Let's see if it can pump up to this high. Yes, it's kind of your target is um, one forty eight. Dude, that shit's like fucking forty dollars. It's gonna make jack. Bro, I'm, I need to restart it, but I have an actual strategy now. Well, for for options specifically, like this this strategy I have is for futures, which doesn't work for options. It would have worked actually yesterday beautifully because yesterday my trade just dumped right away. But um, the the inversion of the fair value gaps breakout is a good strat because it's momentum right away. Connor's pissed. W. Connor, stop getting fried and lock the fuck in. Let's go. 
Lock the fuck in. Yo, chill. Why is kind of exposing? Yeah, we got SMT right here. Beautiful. Bearish SMT. Morgan Trades is low key a robot. All right, so, but look at this. Look at this bullish to bearish candle. This is actually tempting me to enter. Like just, just. I am not sharing my screen. What am I doing? But this, like this bullish to bearish candle on the fifteen is crazy. Relatively fat stop um target easy we have like easy targets right now so this huge pump is a manipulation right now hopefully not really because what what does free value gaps used for it's to fill it up right oil that bitch up so if it's going to be useful either it's going to be bounced off this area or it's going to bounce off either this breaker so yeah, it did tap into the 15 minute for value gap. I do agree. I want to see. I agree. Because Loki guys, this is honestly just entering right here is not even a bad setup because this is such a fat wick. I don't know if we're going to manipulate again off this. I really doubt we will. It's possible guys. It's very possible, but. I think that we can maybe just enter a light size at very, very, in the very start. Um, and then enter more contracts as the trade plays out. Yeah, the high. Well, I'm in, I'm in a 15 minutes so the 9.30 high. Which is... No, because we already took out the 930. So 937, we might manipulate. That's the thing. So usually we want to wait for a manipulation. So right now we can skip this trade out. See if it balances back up. Takes out this high. So if we get a pretty pussy bearish close, I really want to see if we can um, do double manipulation, okay? Um... Uh, so, so right now it looks like it's probably going to be a pretty weak bearish close. So we could just enter one contract to test out this play, guys. Let's see if it does. But if it closes bullish, then no play. No play. And for guys, if you want to enter this on options, what you have to do is wait for a breakout on the one minute. So you don't, because right now, when I enter my trade... Usually goes in a little bit of drawdown right away or consolidates. So options, you might as well just wait for a breakout on the one minute. Once you see like a big candle movement, then enter. Doesn't close bearish, and that's good. Then we can see in the next 15 minutes. A manipulation right now. Because now look, 20 minute close bearish. See that? 20 minute close bearish just now. So if you can get a manipulation of 20 minutes, that would be ideal. So right now, watch. Disrespect this fair value gap. Invert it. And now let's see us take this high in reverse. And guys, my take profit one would probably be like, if I were to enter, it would be this daily order block, which is 140 ticks. It's not bad at all. And then my next take profit is probably going to be like the next lows or whatever here or here. It's 500 ticks. That's fucking crazy. Oh, 
What's up? Yo, I'm, what am I trading? I'm looking at NQ right now. NQ. M or QQQ on options. Okay, it is respecting this for value yet. Um, probably if you kind of on a daily time frame on um, NQ or NQ, you just wait for a big like daily close or a weekly close, and then honestly, like you're buy. Think about it. You're buying at a very cheap price, so you can uh, you can hit big long term, right? You can easily ten extra money. But we don't know if we're going to keep pumping it, right? We don't have a confirmation that we're going to be bearish, right? So you can probably risk it right now, like entering long term. Because your stuff loss is going to be pretty tight. Because the contracts, not contract, the price is already at $10. It was at fucking like 100 Well, yeah, that's when I was like... The fucking bear market. That was like 2008 or 1990s. Yeah, then after what? The 2008 crash. What happened for the last 10 years? Market just kept going up every year, right? Every year went up. No, that means that, that means the NASDAQ was going up every year. I right, 15 minute close bullish. Bearish, bearish, yeah, yeah. Okay, hold on, boys. It is wild. But it makes sense, because stock market overall goes up, right? Okay, let's see if this gets a reaction right now. I'm not gonna rush this entry, guys. I'm not gonna rush this entry. I really think about entering right now. For long term investing. It's basically every time the NASDAQ goes down, SQQ goes up. Yeah. All right, it's dumping a little bit. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy a live account on Trade of 8. Facts. No, I did not. I did not get in. I could wait for free trades. We might see a manipulation move, but... Very possible because usually what what do you wait for manipulation right? When is it? Probably. Probably gonna be there too. Uh, looks like I wanna answer, boys. W. You're suggesting at this level. One day will.
not answering these shorts yet because I'm kind of skeptical. A little bit skeptical, guys. Tiny bit skeptical here. Most likely we want to see manipulation first. I can just shut the fuck up. Fucking garbage can, guys. So fu So many people do. That's tough as fuck. W scam. What if it's Morgan Trades alt account? <laughs> rise level, rise level. Okay, hold on. Shit. Okay, I'm in. I'm in. L entry. L entry, guys. So I'm in shorts. Uh, stop loss is above this high, guys. Uh, okay, this is L alert. L timing alert. I'm in, guys. In shorts. So, guys, take profit. One is probably going to be... Um. Let's see how it reacts of this daily inverse order block right now. Because potentially, guys, then if we can break through this, then TP will be this, right? So I'm going to take profit one. What's up? Yeah, so. Okay, so. Don't want this to be turned into liquidity because now I have a really fat stop pretty much. A pretty big stop. Um, oh my god, this kid, you don't have pre access. Yeah, so my take profit one is here, guys. I'm gonna take profit two, probably gonna be this low right here. So my take profit two is gonna be right here. I wanna see if you can. So what, we whipped off this five minute for value gap right here. Let's see if you can break through those guys. All right, five minute for value gap. Yeah, so guys, we need to see this for value gap tap into because we got a pretty bad entry but I just wanted a confirmation and I think this push hopefully to be confirmation but I'm hoping that this is not going to be a just a bad fill because basically 15 minute close all the way up there and that's basically a 
70 tick later entry which hopefully be fine but we'll see you guys so right now what are we looking at 30 minute looking at closing bearish 25 close bearish as well four minutes ago actually um which was four minutes ago yeah right here close bearish okay I'll put like other, these lows down here. Definitely. Definitely. Let's see. Let's see how it breaks through this five minute for value up, guys. I want to see this breakthrough. We'll see this five get broken through, guys. Tap this for value gap. We'll see if volume can spike down more. You guys, the only downside about this trade I don't like so far is that we have a really late fill to the trade. But let's see if we can still come. Let's see if we can still reject, guys. So this big one minute for value up. Let's see if we can reject it all for now. Yeah, because thirty minutes about to close bearish. In like four minutes. Also, wait, how about the one hour? One hour is gonna close bearish too. Wow. So, guys, all the time frames one hour, 30 minute, 25, 20, 15 minute, all aligned together. One hour, 30 minute. Thirty minute, twenty five minute, minute, twenty minute, fifteen minute, all aligned. I see you can break through this five minute for value, good boys. Once you get this bearish close, we should be pumping right now, guys. And people that are, uh, want to trade on options, um. I guess what you guys can wait for is if you want to get a good entry, wait for this for value to get broken through, which is it's gonna be late as fuck. Or if you get if you get a fat bearish candle in this fair value gap. So if you guys want like a not a sniper entry, but an entry that has volume. Cause that's the whole point. You need momentum, right? Alright, let's see if we can break through this five, this low again. Yes, is doing a good job right now. Yes, is looking good. And guys, I want to see how we react off this daily order block right now. If you come back down, I want to see this five minute respect. I don't like this five at all. See if you can disrespect that guy. Take it slow in this place. This is 200 ticks. You see, this is what I don't like. How respect took up the slow on the five and then quick, quick up. So I really want to see. This got to be really careful, guys. How we react when we tap my green zone. I want to see how I react in my green zone right here, guys. Alright, uh, 10 o'clock is gonna close in one minute, guys. So one minute, we're gonna have a lot of time frames close bearish. 30 minute, one hour.
really. I want to see us disrespect the 50% mark of this 15. I think ES tapped to the tick. Yeah, ES literally tapped to the tick. I wish I could scale in with more cons, dude. It's just like, at SAS, I can only do two. Alright, so one hour close bearish, guys. One hour close bearish. Basically, our entry would have been kind of the same where the one hour is. Yeah, I just don't like how right now we respected this 50% mark and now we're working hard for upside. Let's see some internal manipulation right now. Yeah, this volume spiked up. That's a huge volume down here in the candle. Like that wick, like that wick in the higher time frames. There we go. Uh, yeah, I like this, but we just have a, we have a big stop loss, two hundred ticks. Peace. TP1 and once one. Oh, it's 300 ticks. Wow, okay. So once one is right here. Oh, yeah, it's one on one. Like right when we break out of this daily. Okay. Yeah, I see that for Billy Gap. See what it does right now. The thing is, right now, our biggest main concern right now, guys, is this 50% mark, which is the 50% mark of the 15 minute Fair Valley Gap, and this 5 minute Fair Valley Gap. We want to see us break through that.
I like how on the 30 minute right now we tapped into this potential new order block, this 9 o'clock candle. 9 o'clock's potential in order block is right now we just tapped into it, right? Rejected hard also on the 15 minute. So like how we tapped, now we had a hard rejection. Let's see if we can continue. Yeah, right now volume is building up. Okay, let's see if we can break through this, this five minute fair value gap and this fifty percent mark. Like yes, once the NQ fall through. How we just keep waking off the fifty percent mark. Yeah, because potentially this might be a bullish breaker right here on the ES and NQ. Do not want to see that. It's like a fifteen minute inverse, maybe. Let's be acting off. Yeah, like a fifteen minute inverse. Look at that. So what we're rejecting off. So there's another like 15 minute inverse for value gap right here, guys. So that's what like we're rejecting off of. So we have a lot of buy area right here, guys. So you see a pretty big push for sellers. See so sellers should step up.
Let's see right now, volume slow. Do not want to see a push up right now. Might see internal manipulation, guys, where it takes out this little higher right here. So then see this reverse. Because we do have a big stop loss, guys. So we could very possibly see internal manipulations within our stop. like that rejection. Okay, let's see if we can break through, guys. Let's see volume step up, boys. Let's see volume step up, guys. Step up, guys. Here we go. The thing about right now, that's kind of. I don't know if it's a plus right now. It's just that we we dumped right now. Volume stopped right away, but buyers' volume also kind of stopped as well. It's uh just it's like pushing back the sellers and they're trying really hard. What do you mean? Well, yeah, it's it's the news. Yeah, obviously. So, All right, I don't like how ES comes to the upside right now. Rejections. So, guys, definitely, I think if you guys are in options, if we break through this 15 minute inverse right here, which is right above this five, I think it'd be a good time to enter. But the volume, we see a volume spike. I want to see a volume spike right now. Let's tap back into the 15 inverse. Let's see his break. Yeah. I forgot to mark this out. This is 5. Just mark the box. G. I see. I want to see us break through this, hit, uh, this inverse right here. I don't want to see another wick off it. Let's go, guys. Come on. Alright, there you go. Let's see how it's break, guys. Let's see a volume spike. Let's go, guys. Top 50. Let's see his breakthrough. Let's see. Keep pushing, guys. Keep pushing. Yeah, it's literally wicking off this 50% mark. It's like this area is like really strong, so 
That's why we just keep waking off him. Once he just break through, I think we should be steady and clear. We find these little equal highs right now, so potential on the target. Uh, 15 minutes just close as a fat doji. So don't want to see this as a reversal candle. I want to see us be in this trade long enough so that we can get, like, for example, a 25 minute fair value gap. Um, that'd be really nice. Yeah, like on the five minute ES, we're just swinging back and forth, guys. Go see if we can break through that again, boys. There we go. Don't wake off the 50% again. Come on. There we go. Let's see a push. Not a wick. Come on, buddy. <sighs> It's not nice at all. It's like this fucking area, dude. This area, once you just come through, it'd be so light. It'd be super easy, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't scale in, but I know what you're talking about. I have, I have a really big stop. I have a 200 tick stop, so this is huge, guys. So, I have huge stop losses. Usually, basically, it's it's like the bigger the stop, the harder it is to get there, technically speaking, right? So, let's see this really just come through, come down. Yeah, we have these little equal highs in a one minute. Maybe you want to take them out, come back down. Same on ES2. Okay, ES took out these equal... Yeah, ES just took out these equal highs. So we have another bearish SMT on the small time frame. So I like that. I like this one minute wick on ES. It's beautiful right now. Took it the size wick to the downside. So you can get a bearish close out of that. Have internal SMT. This is exactly what I want to see, guys. Guys, once you break through this level, I'm telling you, we're going to just steamroll down. I want to see a wake. Let's see a push. There we go. There we go. Let's break below the slow, guys. Break below the slow, guys. Hold on, not yet. It might be the sweep. Okay, close below on one minute. I want to see this slow right here. This is where the five is.
Okay, five minute actually did close below these lows. So five minute just closed when it dumped, right? But okay, Connor probably muted and shot himself. Beautiful guys, let's see us break this low. Let's tap back in this five. I want to see us break this five right now, guys. I want to see Wix. So you can get more volume, guys. Alright, come on. I want to see this low get taken out with displacement, boys. I want to see this 955 low with displacement get taken out. 958 in one minute. There we go. Took it this low, guys. Don't want to see a wake. Let's see a push through, guys. I want to see continuation. Took it this low. See continuation. There we go. Nice. Beautiful. I right, we tapped in my daily zone, guys. There we go. Look at this flush. I'm going to see a flush right now, guys. See a flush. See a flush, guys. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Nice, love this guys. Love this flush boys. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that guys. Let's see it keep going. Let's see this keep going guys. Alright, so we're out of this five, we're out of this five. There you go. What that say option cons when you broke above broke below this low, option cons are gonna move sexy as fuck right now. Alright, there we go. ES is coming through. ES is coming through. Look at this dump, boys. Nice, sexy. Come on, boys. Let's keep going. Let's break out of the zone I have here. Let's see, guys. Because yeah, now we're reacting, reacting off the fifty percent mark of this range. We'll see us break through a little bit. Okay, so we don't like this wick, and that was. I don't know, I don't follow the tactical bullshit. Okay, because we. Okay, right now we perfectly tap to this another 15 minute fair value right here. That's why we quickly bounced up really fast. So there's there was definitely orders waiting to be there. Notice how Alex said that. We have a lot of fair value gaps, yes, but the only volume, because right now we destroyed this 15 minute completely. 
the only volume is where the beginning of a favela gap is. So that's why this five minute we were wicking off it for a little bit. We were wicking off this fifteen for a little bit. Now right now we just wicked off this um, new fifteen minute, the one that's below it. I think that we should easily we should take this guy out. So I have this 2.5 level mark, which is basically the standard deviation of this leg from this uh, 930 to this push up. So this 937. See some more movement, guys. I want to see us break through this 15 minute rally gap. Okay, ES is reacting off this inverse OB. Oh, it didn't tap into it yet, so not yet. Yeah, so let's see if NQ could tap into this for me. I'll get come back down. So I don't like how ES took it this slow, closed above it, and now it's breaking to the upside. So this might be a bullish manipulation. I do not want to see that on ES. That would not be cool. Oh, okay. okay. Tapping this for Vilica, see continue with the downside. Yeah, I really don't want to see this as a bullish manipulation right now. That would be that would be painful. That would be painful, but with this big push, if you see this volume spike, guys, I really still think that we we're still could be bearish. But I don't want the lemon. I don't want the juice to be squeezed right now. Tap in this three minute RQ. Can we respect this for Valley Gap? Or not? What was that sound? That scared the fuck out of me. I thought there was someone laughing in my ear. Alright, so that yeah, that's this is this is a strong push to upside right now. This is for Trace. Yeah, so this fifteen minute is strong it looks like fuck.
See if we get a rejection down. Just keep following this downtrend. Tap this one minute. I want to see this little woman get disrespected right now. I want to see this 10, 28 get disrespected. Because I guarantee you people are entering longs right now. Off this FEG. Like guys, like another good thing for options is if we break this for value gap and close, then that's a good entry for options too. Breaking this for value gap. The close below. So you can get a close below right now, guys. Beautiful. Let's go. Like I said, big stop right now is this 15 minute for value gap. That we tap to the take and reject it hard. Because there's bu there's buyers there from overnight, right? So there's there's probably accumulating volume building up, and but we tapped a lot of people got filled. That's why price went up. Okay, so we're now closed below this fair value gap. So option traders right now is a good, probably a good time to like maybe enter on options. That's what I would enter. Let's see if it plays out. Let's see if it plays out. So let's see how we tap back into this 15 if you do. If you do tap back into this 15, we're going to see how it reacts. We're going to break through this again, guys. Might have a take profit one at um, the 2.5 level, which is the 50% mark of this 15 minute. That might be not a bad take profit one, guys. Because we were up 130 ticks at, at that little push. Right, there goes see us. Let's get flush for now, guys. This so people enter loans. We need to get stopped, and we continue going through, guys. Let's see a flush, boys. Nice candle. See continuation, guys. See, so, like, this is exactly what I'm talking about. See, you guys, you see this, Alex, how we disrespected this. We closed below this one minute fair value gap, and then we have this big push to the downside. It's, I feel like when I do options, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just wait for a, I'm going to seek a buy, seek a draw liquidity, wait for a fair value gap to get, like, a strong fair value gap to get broken through, then enter. Because that secures at least probably like 30% easily. Like, this tiny little push is probably like 30% if you entered. All right, so right now, okay, let's see how we tap back at the slow. It's really crucial. So this slow is a 15-minute fair value gap. Let's we'll see how we react, guys. So we're about to tap into this right now. Let's see how we do. Because now people definitely entered long on the one minute. They definitely got stopped. Well, not yet. If they have their stop below this low. It's scared. It's scared to come here. It's scared to come down here. Don't be scared. Don't be shy. It's okay. Don't be shy, buddy. Yeah, I'll just do this. So, TP want to be here. I have my TP too, like over here. It's fine.
Okay, so price is really scared. Wow. We almost tapped this 15. We didn't we didn't tap yet. We did not tap this 15, guys. We were almost there. Okay, tap this one minute for Villa. Yep, see if you can help us push down right now. Yeah, tap this for me. Let's respect. Let's come down. Break this low. The displacement. And my take profit one, guys, would be this 2.5 level slash the 50% mark of the 15 minute for value gap. Oh, there we go. See this respect. See the continuation. I want to see this. I want to see a flush right now through this equal lows. See a flush, boys. All right, there we go. See us tapping this 15 breakthrough, guys. Come on. Let's see his break. Oh, oh, almost there. Almost tap. Yes, I don't like how yes is still in this three minute for value gap and it's respecting. It's still respecting this 50 percent mark. It's like edging two times. Almost tapped it to the... Adderall. Adderall. <laughs> Adderall and Celsius is deadly combo. All right, come on. No way we're rejecting off this shit. Come on. You got to be trolling. You got to be trolling. We're like one tick away from this from this low. And you're trolling right now. Tiny one minute order block right now. It's a tiny little one minute. No way we're respecting you right now. No way, Jose. Formula equal low, so more liquidity building up. Rejecting right above the surveillance gap. Am I trolling? Safe to have fear. Okay, NQ is trolling right now, guys. NQ is trolling. Before we close right now. Stop trolling, dude. Ugh. Please stop trolling, mister. We did not... We took out... Not this 1023 low. So there's some people still in this log setup that entered in this one minute right here. And they probably put their stop below this low, guys. They're probably still in this trade. I 
I really want to see it, this, these equal lows get taken out as a flush, and not like as a wick. Just flush through these lows. That'd be sexy. Please stop trolling right now. Stop trolling. Okay, create another little one minute for Velaga. Bullish one. No, I, I want this for Velaga so we can run through this right now. I just don't like how ES is just not moving at all. We're just still consolidating this three minute for valley gap for literally like the last hour. I don't like how these 15 minutes are waking up hard to the upside. 30 minutes, 4 hour, I have a 4 hour close at 2 o'clock, that's whatever. Alright, so yeah, we're about to possibly get another back to back 1 hour close. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool. Okay, did it tap in this one minute? It did not. There's like one tick above it. Yeah, form equal low, so let's see if we can take these guys out. Yeah, some trader on Instagram caught. He entered right here. 9.43 of this for Valley Gap. Interesting. It's going to at the very top. What are we, PB trading? He entered short? Yeah, he looks like he entered short. Like, dude, he enters like shit set up style. So. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Alright, come on. Let's see. Us possibly take on the side. Can we dump, please? Oh, 
I want to see this be a trend line liquidity. So with this trend line, with the booked above it, I want to see us have a false breakout and be dumped right now. Take out these lows. So false breakout and then we take out lows. Let's go. Let's see this. Let's see this act as a false breakout. Yeah, ES still rejected with the five. Uh, let's see us tap into this for value gap right here, ten thirty nine. I will see us break through that. Can break through this, guys. Yeah, we also have a super. Ah, uh, no, we don't. Never mind. Never mind. We do not have that. Now, right, come on. Can we get some volume right now, guys? Not volume that way, please. So far as respect this little one minute order block. I'm like that. <coughs> Guys, if you come back to these equal lows, depending how we react, might trim one contract. Maybe, I, I don't know yet. Really don't want to though. Really don't want to. Dude, yes, looks like London session right now. This is wild. Yes, looks like London session, dude. This is crazy. I agree.
Okay, there you go. Tap is for Velga. Let's see if we can disrespect. I uh, like ES volume, ES. Like that candle, we'll see continuation. Nice. Let's see, let's push through to these equal lows, guys. Let's see this equal lows get taken. And I want to see a flush right now. I want to see a flush. There we go. Look at this beautiful woman a candle. I don't want to see this be a fake breakout. We have this uh, right now just uh, like due to swing. It's like sideways. We break to the downside and go to the upside. We don't want that. Let me see a continuation, guys. Because right now we just wicked off. Yeah, there we go, guys. Let's see if we can take out this low. Let's see if we can take out these equal lows right now, guys. Take out this equal lows with, with a volume push. Can we do that, please? Not just blue boss again. Yeah, there you go. See, come on. Let's keep going, boys. Take out these equal lows. Buddy, what are you waking off of? What is bro waking off of? That's happened this one minute. Okay, let's not. I don't want to see this be a fake breakout. Tap in the gap. Let's come to the downside. Please, just take out these equal lows for fuck's sake. Or just not. Well, let's keep going, keep going. Respe I like this respect. Take out these equal lows. With this placement, we'll all be happy. We'll all be happy, dude. Come on. Because once we take out these equal lows, volumes will spike up like crazy. We see a huge volume spike. Come on, let's go. Let's take out these equal lows. Come on. Let's go, buddy. Equal lows. Equal lows. No. Once we take out these equal lows, we, we should probably, we'll probably see a wick right away, but then we'll, I think we'll see a flush. There's so buyers are just holding for their dear lives for these equal lows right now. Once you break, it just sellers should be set loose right now. Just 
We're just looking off this big vanilla gap. Can we keep going? Five more minutes to hourly can the closes, okay? I want to see if possibly right now the 15 minute can close below these two equal lows. That'd be so sexy. And if the 30 minute can too, that'd be nice as well. So we are rejecting off like the 50% mark of this 45 minute for rally gap. This is like this is like the area we've been waking off kind of. So the 50% mark been really respected today for a little bit, then we just broke through. Yeah, boy trades. There's two of them. Uh, with the Z, it's the Alex Nagabitan's bot account. He's trying to get me members. But Rumboy trades with the underscore is mine. That shit makes me cringe hard as fuck. Lab man meets his man. Oh, okay, I just fucking delete Instagram. Bro, why is it breaking through? I really don't want to see this. Like I said, like a fake breakout right now. That'd be that'd be not nice. That would suck ass. I don't know. Oh my god. This is just blue ball is equal fucking low. So, potentially, guys, if this is a false breakout, we might even see these 10, 40 highs, or us even coming back as a drawdown, taking out these equal highs, these uh, 1002, sorry, 1001 and 1010 highs. It's very possible. But I think that we should just. Just calm down right now. Just that the buyers are just holding for the. They're just trying to hold this area really hard. They're holding this area really hard right now. Yeah, the 50% mark, they keep working off that shit. I'm just like... Oh, come on, dog. Come on. Uh, let's see if we can take out these equal highs and come back down.
Alright, let's see if this eco highs get, let's see these little highs get taken and we can see the dump right now. That's what I want to see, guys. So we'll reject the this word block in the one minute. So people that still after long in this 10 20 if I rally up, they're still in this trade. They're still in this trade. Surprisingly. Okay, we tap this one minute for rally gap. Is this one minute? Yeah, one minute for rally gap. So you can break. Like I said, if we break through this. We should have a quick push to the downside right now if we close through this for valley gap. Oh yeah, so you can break this for Villa Gap. Nice. Sequels below. Yeah, so guys, the one hour close bearish. Two bearish back to back one hour candles. Back to back. One more minute, the, well actually it's seven, six seconds, the 25 will close right now. Let's see if you can close bearish right now. Okay, I close bearish, nice. But close, like as a weak doji can, I don't like that doji shit. I don't like that doji shit. There we go. Yeah, like this candle. See, now notice how the second we displace, so, sorry, not displace, sorry. Notice how we, we break through a fair value gap, how volume just spikes up through, right? That's what I'm talking about with options. So if you get a, that's if I do option challenge again, I'm gonna wait for a fair value gap to get broken through, then I'll enter. But dude, it's like fucking react to this 50% mark, dude. Come on. That's not a nice wig. I don't, I hate this shit. It's so annoying. So annoying. Why? Why are you reacting with this shit? Why are you reacting with this shit? That's a nasty gamble. That's not nice. Well, 
What the fuck is this, dude? What the fuck? Dude, we just keep rejecting off the same fucking points. So I'm thinking about even like just trimming or like... I'm thinking about even trimming even though it's pussy trim, but... Just this fucking rejection back and forth. Tapping down... That's what I'm thinking about. Alright, see, tap back at this woman and word to block again. Reject it a little bit. Now, I took all these highs. Let's see if you can get a manipulation right now. Let's see if you can get a manipulation right now. I took all these equal highs. Okay, cool. Can we see a dump right now, guys? Can we see a manipulation, please? Can we see a manipulation? Pass. Pass, pass, pass. I see this here valley get broken through for one minute. The thing is, I kind of want to lower my stop. I don't want to risk 200 ticks again, you know? But we'll see right now. One hundred ninety-seven. Probably gonna be like two hundred and ten dollars after like the commission shit. All right, let's see us break through. Yeah, cause right, cause look, we just took all these. We, check this out. Look, when the look at the one minute, we took out this high, broke through this fair valley gap just now. We're breaking through, so I think this is finally we're gonna get volume spike. Look at this, wicked up, took these highs. Now we're displacing down. Yeah, we keep we keep rejecting off the zone. Yeah, exactly. Literally, forming this little wedge, forming this wedge, stop waking, take this little triangle, see this little triangle, rapids like wakes out, does a false breakout, then it goes the other direction, so I would really love to see if this push up was a fake, fake out, we dump right now, but we keep rejecting all this fucking area right here, this green line. <laughs> Come on, let's take out these equal lows, please, for fuck's sake. We keep wicking off this screen line, dude. That's so annoying. Because in like 20 minutes, I have to buy a dip for school.
Oh, I see this false breakout, guys. Took it this high, now let's see it. I'm gonna see a breakout to the opposite side, to the downside right now. Break this line. Come on, dude. Super slow. I I expect a huge volume push very soon. Very soon. If I'm gonna take out these highs, close bearish. Come on, dog. Let's go. Take out these lows. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Come on. There we go. There we go. Break, break, break. There we go. There we go. Nice, nice. Okay. Okay, we're getting away. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, hold on, guys. What did I fucking say? I said we're going to have a huge volume push right now. Let's see, get, let's see if we can get a continuation right now. See if we can get a continuation, guys. Well, let's see if continue this, continue this placement, guys. So downside, fucking beautiful break. Took out these lows. Now let's see, let's see if we can keep going. Fuck if I were just gonna, oh shit. I was gonna trim, but damn it. Okay. So obviously, okay, I expected this wick up. Now let's see a continuation of downside right now. Because obviously people had to stop loss there. More push up, let's continue to the downside, guys. Break this 15, let's go. Let's see how TPs right now. What's the best out to break even? Setting. Stop boss break even. All right, come on, let's go. I want to see this continue to the downside, guys. There we go. I, I think we definitely will hit TP, guys. Look, it's push. Come on, guys, let's go. I want to see us keep following the break. Follow the break. Keep pushing. I want to hit my 2.5 level. Let's go. Let's keep going, guys. Keep going. There we go. Let's see, let's see us follow through, boys. Come on. Just fall through. Oh, come on, I don't want to wake. I don't want to see this being manipulation right now. Come on. Let's go, baby. Let's hit TP1. Let's hit TP1. He just tapped this for Villa gap. Let's see this react come to the downside right now. I like how the 15 minute close below these lows. I like that a lot. Fif 15 minute close below these lows. So I'm so confident. I just want to see. I don't want to see the thirty minute have a wick and close above these, right? I don't want to see that. So maybe right now we might tap in this further. I got continue this push to the downside. Because right now we took out these we took out these eagle lows that we're targeting for the last um, basically hour.
So yeah, we tapped in this five minute. We should expect it. Well, let's see a follow through, boys. Let's see a follow through, guys. I want to see a follow through. So, let's see if it taps into this fair value gap right now in the one minute. If you come down, I don't want to see this as manipulation, though. And like, if we get stopped out of break even, we get stopped out, but that'd be pretty painful. I think that today might be one of those trades where we might just hold for a long time and it's just gonna go down all day. You know what I'm talking about? You know those days where it just goes down one direction? That's what probably what it's gonna look for today. So you can break through this internal five minute that's inside this big 15 right now, guys. Let's see if you can break through this five minute. It is rejecting off this 15 still. Like we, we guys, what we see for today, notice how there's a consolidation, then dump. Consolidation, dump. Consolidation, dump. So we might be in this trade for a little bit. We might be in this shit for a little bit. I really like how the daily candle is looking right now. We took all these daily highs right now. With this fat work to the downside. Love the one hour so far. One hour looks really nice. How about the two hour? What time does the two hour close? Close at 12. Okay. So most likely we'll see a bearish close at two hour. Four hour looks really good. But the four hour closes at... Um, 2 p.m. as well, so it's a long time.
Uh, let's see how we can tap. Let's see if we can break through this five minute right now again. Let's see if we can tap into it at least. Come on. I don't want to see buyers recoup right now. I want to see sellers just keep flushing. Yo, is Bonka still in this trade or he sold a while ago? Uh, tap in this favela again. Let's see if we can respect it right now, guys. Let's see this favela get respect and help us with this dump right now. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna dip in like 10 minutes. Stops are breaking, so I don't really don't care. Maybe I'm a smarter idea. Let's see. Let's see this for value get respect. Tap into it. See you can continue to the downside. I bet. Hmm. Your eighty still here or nah? I think it mics I think it mics me in. Still cannot hear you. Pro's mic is trash. Yo, now I hear you. Are you in this trade? What's the contracts like? You're a break even right now? That's how? No, it's that ass. I'll probably sell the con. Did you answer when I answered? Yeah, I think we'll get one. I think we'll at least hit my TP one. I think. So I'm gonna stop to break even. So pretty much risk free trade. So tap in for real. Go see if we can dump right now. So now Collins is probably just dying right now. Wait, Ada, did you answer when I answered or no? 
Did you answer recently? Or... Eleven eleven. Oh, this one. Oh, right here. Oh, that's actually that's a good fill, but this contract's probably eating you, you alive right now with this consolidation. So yeah, bro. I, honestly, I. Yeah, I would do that because contracts are ass right now. Like I, okay, that's good. That's beautiful. Yeah, that's beautiful. So much shit. Yeah, definitely. If you make 80k a month, why would you be in Tacticals Discord? No way it's gonna pump up right now. Stop me out of break even, and all this was for no reason. I'm really scared to do break even, dude. I'm really scared. I have a slight feeling that if you get stopped out, break even's gonna reverse. Hundred percent. Yeah, this is kind of unexpected right now. Come on, dude. Because we took out the equal lows and then the volume, buy, we consolidated. Sellers couldn't really push through. Buyers just took over. That's exactly what happened. There's no way I'm going to get stopped up break even right now. That would be crazy. That would be ass, bro. I'd be pissed. No way. Are you fucking kidding me? Look, you want to raise back my stop to a little bit above. Definitely, we we'll probably have internal manipulation right now. Tap back at this one minute order block and see if we can come back. Okay, look at this order block again. So this order block's carrying us right now, it's tough. Let's we'll see if we can break through this for a really good, it's 11.30. But I gotta start up my car like in four minutes. Let's see how this reveal I get respects, guys. Okay, I like this push. So you can break through this reveal gap, guys. I want to see this be a fake bullish setup. So what happened. Took out these equal lows. We have displacement to the upside. Tapping this reveal gap. So definitely see some long re-entries, right? People that probably got stopped out, they're re-entering right now.
you can break through this favela, get right now, boys. Yes, is still respecting it. Mm. crazy this is like a like a high time frame false breakout where we, we have this little wedge going on here right we wicked above this high and then we displaced fast to the downside but the second we close below these lows we shot the fuck up well it's because we tapped into a huge confluence zone it's like we tapped into 15 minute fair value yeah five minutes took out these equal lows so obviously we had some buyers there right so I want to see this push just be a false. I, I want to see this set up be a smart money concepts trap. SMC trap. People entering longs right now. Definitely, I'm telling you, people are entering longs right now, 100%. 100%. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go start on my car. Let me know if I get stopped or break even or not. Let me back. Respect this for value gap. <sighs> Can we see this one minute get ran through, boys? Or not? Can we see it? So on. Yes, we took out these little five minute equal highs right now. So it's on ES we took out uh the ten fifty five and eleven AM highs. 
Tap back into this five minute. Right now we are rejecting. Okay, good sign. Can we see NQ follow through and break this fair value gap? If NQ does that, I think we're back in business, guys. I think we're back in business, but if not, then we are cooked. Stop that break even, guys. Let's see if you can stop that break even, boys. It's fucking shit. Look at these highs. Last hope, guys, is seeing this woman as manipulation. If we see that, then we're that'd be crazy. But I think what might happen is we might get stopped up, break even, and then come back down. Fuck, dude, that's ass. Okay, did we take up this high? We did not. Oh, wait, did we actually? Hold on. No, we didn't. We made equal highs. I'm thinking about putting my stop back up, guys. But I don't know. It's kind of risky. Damn, wow, we're gonna stop break even. That's crazy. Dude, it hit my break even, but didn't fill. Hold on, it wicked. It was. Oh, uh, yeah, filled me break even. Wow. Wow, that was. That's actually fucking garbage. That's ass. Because uh, if we entered off the 15 minute close right away, guys, we would have still been in this trade. And I probably would have sold it by then. I definitely would have sold by then. Because that that's fucking 222. I uh, I don't know, dude. I think this is high time for manipulation. I might be regretting selling. Mm, it's actually pissing me off. This is actually kind of triggering. Yeah. 
Yeah, with them too. I right, see you guys. Peace out. Peace out, boys. Uh, YouTube, I'm going to end the video here, and I'm going to do it. Peace out, guys.